thank you for joining this lesson. We're going to discuss common solids together with the drawing of nets. In number 16, we are told that uh, the figure below is a part of the sketch of a triangular prism, four centimeters long. The cross-section of the prism is an equilateral triangle of side three centimeters. Part A, complete the sketch by drawing the hidden edges using broken lines. Then number B, hence draw the net of the prism. Let me start by part A, whereby we are completing the sketch by drawing the hidden edges. What you're supposed to know that uh, this is a three-dimensional diagram, whereby we should first of all know the number of faces contained in this uh, solid. So we have uh, this face we can see here. There's also another face like that one on the other side. There's also this face and another face which is all triangular on the other side. Then there's the base. So those are five phases and we are supposed to be able to trace them when we look at the diagram cross-sectionally. So let me begin by drawing a line at the base such that we begin by doing a line here. Do a line there. Then now we bring this one down there. Then finally, I can connect these two sides. Yes, so now all the faces can be traced. That is how we finish the diagram. And now, secondly, we are supposed to draw the net. A net is just uh, when the diagram has been opened. But now, because we are drawing and not sketching, we're supposed to open up the diagram. You're supposed to open up this diagram such that uh, all the faces can now be seen in two dimensions. So now I'm going to start with the base, whereby, because it is four centimeters long and three centimeters wide, that means we're going to start with the rectangular base, four by three. So we begin by four by three. We do a four centimeters length. We also do the width. Okay, let me start by because that is the length, I can even uh, measure now my four centimeters, such that uh, from this point, yeah, four centimeters. So that is four centimeters, you can call that one the length. Now with four centimeters, I can uh, draw perpendicularly to this the wings of three centimeters so because the width and the length are perpendicular to one another and just stand here the wing should pass there and the other one to this point the wing is supposed to pass here therefore now i can join this point to where the dot is that is where i'll measure my three centimeters and along this one this is where I will measure my three centimeters. So now I need again to pick a ruler. Then I stand from this point. I just measure three centimeters. And three centimeters will be up to this point. And on the other side, I do the same. Three centimeters should be to this point. So now I have to join the two points now. So now I'm having my four by three centimeter rectangle. That is the base. From this now, I need to draw the triangular faces now, whereby they are three by three by three. So I need to measure three centimeters. I make an arc. I measure three centimeters. I make an arc. That means they are equilaterals actually. So that means standing at this point 
I can even measure 60 degrees at that point. And I also stand at this point, I measure again 60 degrees through this point. So this means when I will take my ruler, then I do 60 degrees through this end. And I also stand at this point, I do 60 degrees. That means I will have my triangular face on that side. And I do the same on this left hand side. Uh, 60 degrees will take me to this point. Let me mark it. That is 60 degrees. Then again, I measure 60 degrees at this end. At this end. I can measure 60 degrees. So this means now I will be able to connect from this point. From this point I connect 60 degrees. From this end I also connect 60 degrees. And now I'm having my triangular phases. What has remained now is to show my rectangular phases now. We have by they are also rectangular. This is rectangular now. The face here, the sloping edges now. This is rectangular together with the equal one on the other side, which is also rectangular. Therefore, they are measuring three. This this is three. So they are measuring four by these three here. So I need to draw a triangle, a rectangle now of uh, three by four. Therefore, the three centimeters we had, I just have to extend them now on either sides, on either sides, because we are having a, already we are having three centimeters. I now need other three centimeters, three centimeters on that side, and also three centimeters on this side. And I do the same for the other side, three centimeters here, three centimeters here. Now I can measure, and now measure. That is where three centimeters will be. And on this side, this is where three centimeters will be. Then on the lower side, we will have three centimeters at this point. And again, three centimeters on this side. So we can now connect. Can now connect that way. The other side we also connect this way. Now we are having the net of the solid. We are having the net of the solid. Yeah, this is the net now. We can see this is the three centimeters. This is three centimeters. Here it will have to measure four centimeters. This is four centimeters. Remember, this is also three centimeters. Three centimeters. A net should be drawn such that in case you close the net, you will come up with the solid that you've opened up. So this is the exact net for the prism above. Thank you so much for following. Subscribe and share.